Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. This is Altrius Plays, my name's Altrius, and today we are starting a new series. I was really, really eager to play some Sky Vault. This is the Vault Hunters mod pack, 118. Third edition of Vault Hunters is brilliant, so we've been playing this on the server, as you know. You've probably seen the videos, you've probably seen the streams. But I've been watching other people play this, and Sky Vaults look really interesting. Now, this is a bit of an experimental series, I don't know how far we'll get. I don't know if we'll just do this one episode. And the reason I wanted to do this is because I can pause this game. So I can record little bits of this and stitch it all together and make episodes for you. Whereas with the server, if I go AFK, I tend to die. I don't like that, so I've stopped doing that. So let's jump right in. How does this work? There's no, there's no words on it. What do I do? Even this doesn't tell me what to do. Well, it's pretty simple. What we do is pick up one of these. Now, I've played a little bit of this. I've done some off-camera, I wanted to experiment, see whether I liked it, and I really enjoyed it, especially since it starts off OP. Okay, let's, we'll get into that. So um, you can break all of these, but I, I did that the first time, and I don't recommend it. These grow really quickly uh, <laughs> at the moment, it turns out, but I have no chest. I have this much inventory space. I have no equipment. What do we do? Well, we certainly don't pick up one, two, three, four of these fill our inventory with it. We want to do this. Boom. So this is creating a vault. This is going to be what we call a raw vault. The raw vault has a different loot table from normal vaults. It has lower enemies. It's always level zero. It has worse enemies. It has worse, well, it doesn't have worse loot, but it hasn't got any of the vault loot you're looking for. This is to collect resources. This is where you get your resources from. This is how you get your chromatic iron. You make everything. This is how you start in Vault Hunters. And to be honest, this is going to be a real quick way of starting off this game compared to how we started off in the overworld. So uh, without further ado, let's go in now. I'm going to pause the video because this is going to take a minute to uh, jump in. So back in a tick. Okay, dokie. So the first vault often takes a little time to load in. I don't know why. It's not bedrock. There's bedrock inside the walls. It's crazy. Um, we created it. Now, see how it says find the monoliths? I'm in two minds about this, whether I approve of this or not. Um, you can complete this vault. This is a simple vault. It's level zero. There's no baddie. Well, there's baddies, but every single spawner is a fizzle spawner. Um, and every single chest has interesting stuff that you want from the overworld. Like, um, well, there's a lot of dirt, obviously, and stone in the world, but there's also... Oh, interesting. Uh, there's food. There's seeds from knees. There's seeds in the chests, maybe. There's also special rooms here and there that help you gain um, ores and things. So that's what this type of vault is designed for. And I'm walking around very cautiously and carefully because I don't want to trigger any spawners. Uh, I want to get some wood. So we start off by punching trees, uh, but we do it by harvesting the, the, sort of the normally ignored features of a vault. Uh, I'm pulling this stuff apart. So standard Minecraft start, really. We're going to get some logs. I don't have a magnet. I haven't got any speed. It's really weird playing this now because um, I'm so used to being fast and I'm so used to being you know, able. <laughs> right, so I've I made a wooden sword and went, hang on, just make a stone sword, so that's not necessary. Um, we'll make an axe as well, actually, while I think about it. But... I would advise keeping hold of some of these tools until you've been through a couple of these, um, not only three, these basic vaults, because these tools will keep breaking. Obviously they're stone, so they will not last very long. And you, you want to get wood. We're going to need chests on the outside. I've still got my Vault Hunter's Guide with me, right? Which is, this is why I didn't want to bring in all of those vault crystals um, that, that are growing on the side. I don't want to break them all because it's going to take four inventory slots and inventory is a precious commodity right now but now we are at least capable we're able we can manage a little bit of combat so i'll gather this wood and don't forget <laughs> these break and catch fire so don't hurt yourself um, now that i've got a bit of wood i can use it to mark my way out because i wasn't paying enough attention to remember which way i came in by except the fact that i have an impeccable built-in sense of direction and i happen to know it's this way so I'm just going to put those there, make a couple more, and just turn all that in. 
to it. Um, I've never seen a coin pile in uh, a raw vault, so it'll be interesting to see what's in here. So again, look, the, the fizzle spawner has basically nothing in it, right? Uh, it spawned one baddie and disappeared. And I, as far as I know, I do believe they are all fizzle spawners in this level zero vault because the idea is that you can collect things from these POIs. But when we open this um, wooden chest, we'll, we'll see what's in it. Look, there's oh, obsidian. That's really good, actually. Like, all of this is useful. Maybe not the torch, but I'm going to bring them anyway. I'm going to put this wooden sword behind. I don't want it. I am keeping hold of my vault book. I know I don't need it, but I'm pretty sure you can make it. It's actually really cheap. <laughs> it's so cheap uh, that I'm actually... I've changed my mind. You can go in there. Because I want my inventory space. I need that. Uh, and this is it. We run around this vault. Now, when you complete this vault, you know, if you find two monoliths and leave. First of all, to be fair, watch out for this. There's a chance that your completion crate will just fly off the edge of the world if you have no room in your inventory to store it when you leave. Because when you come out of a vault, uh, the the completion crate drops on the ground if you haven't got room in your inventory for it. So make sure you do, or it's just going straight off the <laughs> straight off the side and into the, the void, which is not what you want. To do. Ow. Now remember, we don't have heal, we don't have any armor. We're very very vulnerable, but we're also right by the exit. So I'm just going to pick up everything, you know, andesite, granite, that sort of thing. They're all available in here. Specifically because these are the things that you need to create real crystals. Uh, that is a nice and fun sort of world gen. That's that standard vanilla world gen weirdness, but in a vault. Good job. And you do get XP as well, so we'll level up a few times just from doing these vaults. So over time, these vaults will basically become more and more useless to us. Um, because... Well, hopefully for obvious reasons, right? We're going to level up the vaults or not. These are always level zero. Ah, and here's what we're looking for. Look, there's copper, there's lapis. Lapis can be mined with stone. I'm pretty sure it used to require iron, but now it requires only stone. Gold still requires iron. So there's a lot of this I can't pick up. Uh, we're going to want a lot more dirt, okay? So that's one of the things that I am conscious of because we need to expand our platform, but we also need to spawn... Uh, the passive mobs, and a lot of passive mobs. It's going to be helpful, and we're going to want to. Oh, hello. Um, just expand the platform. Basically, we want some farming going on so that we can grow crops. We don't have to expand the platform using. Ooh, um, you don't have to expand the platform using dirt, but it's currently dirt, so I guess why not, right? And then over time, of course, we'll start putting things in place. Look, the... the whoa! The, the fact that the monolith vaults are now A... So, let me go back a little bit. The reason I'm playing this now is they brought out an update, update 8, to the Vault Hunters mod pack, which basically makes early game way better. So when we first started playing in... Um, you know, the survival multiplayer series that we've got. Oh, rabbit skin. I really want that. Don't need these sticks. I'll bring the string there. Um, so I'm going to start putting away things that are slightly less valuable because a lot of these things are really hard to get your hands on. You know, when you're... <laughs> when there's no baddies, there's no overworld. Um, they made an update that made the early game really good. And this has been a massive benefit to Skybolt, basically. You know, it's. I know what I said about dirt, but also efficiency too. Well, let's, let's take the vault. Oh, I want all this. Um, so I thought, you know what? These changes. I like Skyblock. You know me. I like my Caveopolis series. I like my Skyblock worlds. Uh, just go for it. Oops, saplings are probably really common. Let's let's replace that. And one of the changes that they've made is that. The type of vault that you get is dependent on, or can get, let's say, is dependent on the level of the vault. And these are level zero, which means they are all guaranteed to be um, monolith vaults. Two monoliths early on, and then as you level up, they start asking you for three and four monoliths. But two monoliths 
also comes with an update in which the likelihood of finding a monolith in a room has massively increased, which is insane. So now every level zero vault is almost guaranteed to give you a loot crate, which means A, you need some space in your inventory when you leave, <laughs> which is not something that I am going to be able to accommodate. And B, you get pretty good loot very early on in Scrabble. And I mean vault loot, you know, there's jewels, there's helmets and, and, and you know, all that gear, there's idols and, 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 and shields and you're basically going to be OP <laughs> right out of the gate. I'm looking forward to it. So let's um, let's put that there before I accidentally put some obsidian there. So that's room one. So there's a 75% chance, as far as I understand, of there being a monolith in a given room at this level. I'm not sure if that changes by level. It might do. Um, so we're looking for monoliths. And I believe it still applies that they don't show up in special rooms. So maybe we'll see one of these special rooms. There's a lot of new rooms specifically designed for this type of vault. Because the whole point of being in here is to gather resources, right? Um, you don't want to be running around dealing with <laughs> posh chests with amazing stuff in when all you want is... Oh, look. Job done. When all you want is, you know, a bit of iron. So that's that done. I don't know what that was. Uh, okay. You might have to use the water here to cheese because I feel like I'm being snuck, snuck up on. I'm not being snuck up on. Brilliant. Oh, I am. Hello. So there's a one main one I'm thinking of is the quarry room. There's a lot of these quarry rooms that I've seen, which is good because you want them to be common. And it's basically an ore room. It's designed for ores, um, but it's got other things like compressed blocks of... Well, oh, various materials. And it's, it's handy. You know, that's what you want. You want to go in here to get resources, and you want to be given resources on a platter, massively compressed, so you can get as much of them as possible. This will be what broke just now. Oh, you can turn candle. <laughs> what? Oh, you can dis you can extinguish them, but you have to have presumably a uh, flint and steel to to light them again. That seems perfectly reasonable to me. And I'm going to throw something away in order to make sure we get to keep the loot crate. So you can see how quickly you can start in in Skyblock. Because it's crazy. You know? And some of this is based on the, you know, the updates in version 8 that make it easier to start. The speed at which we began in our survival multiplayer was quite poor to some extent, because not only, you know, did we have to scour the world for all the bits we required, we required to make the vault crystals, not only did we all die at once when any of us died, when we went into a vault together, and the vaults are really hard <laughs> when you're starting off, and these ones are trivial, you can see how easy this vault is, I'm beating up the baddies with a stone sword, which is about to break, but that's okay. Um, but... You know, not only all of that, I forgot my point. <laughs> point is, it's easier now. You've got uh, the the type of... Why can't I go upstairs? You've got the type of vault, you know, making a big difference to how easy it is to complete the vault. That gives you XP, that gives you gear as soon as you leave and levels you up real, real quick, I was going to say. But also another thing that they've changed is that the chromatic iron can now, I believe, be exposed to air. A massive time sink at the start of the game when we first played it. We spent hours just literally strip mining looking for this dang stuff. Whoa! You are very rude. Here's me saying how trivial this blinking thing is. <laughs> what? 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 That was weird. And uh, I nearly died <laughs> by being smacked off the edge by that joker. Anyway. So I didn't need to keep this, so we can get rid of that. And... What? Okay, fine. So I'm looking forward to this. You know, as soon as we get out of this vault, we should end up with... Is that a dungeon? Are you dungeoning me? Or are you just a poi? Are you just a poi? 
Just a point. I mean, it fizzles. So I don't know if dungeons can spawn. Lots of things can spawn that you might not have really thought would be helpful. Um, like those uh, treasure doors, for example. Those can spawn. <laughs> what are you going to do with the treasure door? Whoa, that's weird. Um, at this level, nothing, obviously. So we're going to be OP in a minute. Hopefully we've got enough wood to deal with. Maybe we should collect more. I haven't actually got any wood. Well, that's interesting. I've got, I've got planks. I'd need to gather 16 of these ish to make it worth getting rid of my planks, which may be a good idea. I don't know. At this level, it's actually a, a conundrum as to how to manage your inventory. I'm discovering. There you go, it's a 25 minute video, just <laughs> me rambling on, beating up baddies in a vault. Is that it? Yeah. I don't think you even get um, special mobs spawning in here. There's no... But there is a theme, right? The, the, the vault does have its theme. Because I've been in lush ones, I've been in... Does it? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been in different themed vaults at this level. Um, but they all, they're all very plain. They're very bland. They're very standard. You know, they, they, they're nondescript. And that means that you probably don't get... I've never seen a spider. I've never seen a creeper. And those are the things that come from the type of vault. Let's have a look at one more room. Ah, look. Is this a village room? So you can see how... Rooms that you're familiar with are actually completely bad. So this is full of pot oh. potatoes. So this is where you have to decide what you want to keep, right? I'd rather have potatoes. Probably carrots. There's carrots. I need a few of each. I don't need to go nuts. Just enough to seed the collection. Look, sugar cane. That's the other thing. I definitely should pick that up. It's almost more important than paper. Because you'll note we don't have a bucket. I can't MLG for a start. And secondly, we can't plant anything without water. How are you going to plant stuff without water? Right? So there's more to it. You have to go in a few of these. You have 25 minutes. Ah, interesting. Ancient debris. Vault stone. I'm going to come back for vault stone. I will take lapis for some reason. <laughs> Coal's very useful, of course, that's going to deal with all of our... Uh, ores. I was hoping to get lucky and find a room, because there are rooms with chests in. If you find ornate chests, yeah, I think it's the ornate chests, which are often found in blacksmith-looking POIs in the actual, uh, in, in real vaults. You know the ones, they're quite grey. They're not that ornate at all, really. Um, they contain tools, which is amazing. I feel like there's probably something in there, but I'm not going to do it. Um, so you can really gear up if you don't have anything from a completion crate yet, and you find a, an ornate POI, boom, iron gear. And of course, you can just replace your iron gear, so it's free iron and free coal, because you don't have to cook it. Oh, I'm out, huh? I mean, egg. Do we need egg? No. Do we really need lapis? No. So we're going to have to have at least one inventory slot so we don't lose our completion crate. Oh, but I decided that I would use the um, planks for that, didn't I? So let's see if there's anything else around here. Is it all oak? Yeah. That we want to take with us. It's grass, dandelion, poppies, large fern. She doesn't like being called that. Create stuff. That's cool. I'm tempted to pick that up just because it's there. Might as well take the potatoes, right? I don't think we get XP for this. I'm hoping that we get a level from this, actually, because heal would be great. I mean, when I played... Oh, kelp. When I played before, um, I found that... Oh, I've got eight. Is that right? 
Um, I found that. I leveled up really fast, basically, even though it was just this room. Just this sort of vault. This, uh, keep calling it a trivial vault. When I played level one vaults... Oh, those are the wrong type of wood. Never mind. When I played level one vaults first in uh, survival multiplayer, oof, how many times did we die? I died from falling off of things. I died from the first enemy wave. I died from this. I died from that. It was very rude. And being able to just gather XP from... The, I, I feel like this is imbalanced in my favour. And I'm, I'm, I'm here for it, if that's what they think it should be. But I suspect a nerf is coming. Because it's a little bit too easy. Oh, by the way, I did put cheats on. And that is basically so that I can change the difficulty if it gets either too hard or too easy. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the difficulty is currently on. Um, can just do okay. I don't think I can find out. We should probably make a run for the exit because we don't have dash either. Remember, we can't move fast. Got three minutes. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm half dead. IRL and also in game. And. You know, I'm so good at greeting and dying as a result of it. No! I forgot about the thing. <laughs> Don't be like me. Don't do what I did. Mothers, tell your children not to do what I have done. I even left a one of these behind. So that I had the room. What a fool, what a noob, what a monster, what a twerp, what an idiot. Six chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. five. But I, what, what do I want this for? And then you do it all again. So I'll keep recording, um, but we'll see if anything interesting shows up. So this, see how th this is the one I use, and it's growing back in the time it took me to do all that. The other thing we should do... <laughs> did we get a level? Three unspent skill points. What did I do to deserve that? I'm never level three. I already made it to level three. I didn't even notice. I remembered he uh, leveling up. I did not remember that you know leveling up was. <laughs> I didn't notice that I'd leveled up that heavily. So this is um, the quarry room I was talking about. So straight in. That's the first room. I, f I should mark my way out. Um, this is what I was telling you about. There's this sort of big hole in the ground and lots of stuff. And ores, there's lots of ores in here, but no POIs, I think, no monoliths, although there are spawners that you, you want to take this opportunity to grab a lot of this stuff, because some of this is going to be compressed. This is not... Ooh, netherrack. I'm aware that netherrack is quite rare. Compressed block of dirt. Um, oh, you can mine it with your pick. Brilliant. So this is good, because this is two times compressed, so that's nine times nine dirt blocks in one go, uh, which is going to help us because we need farms and, and animals and everything like I said before. So that'll be really nice. Aha! You can win these just by walking down the main line and having a look. Absolutely wild. Oh, and also, these still spawn. I knew there was another thing that still spawned that I was going to tell you about. It's these. Mana. Look at that. You really know how to tempt me, don't you? We should. We need to keep some cobblestone. Let's not worry about torches. Seven minutes. Honestly, I don't tend to spend more than. I don't tend to spend, you know, twenty-five minutes in there at all, um, unless there's a lot of the same type of thing for me to gather. But um, look, that's really good. So we've got that. 
let's put everything that we can into these. I've got nothing, right? In fact, let's put these in here. Level zero monolith crate. Two monoliths, 75% chance of a room having a monolith as far as I understand. So basically guaranteed. <laughs> this much stuff is in that. One, two, three, four jewels. One of which is level 20 size, but pulverizing. Item quantity is okay. Shoveling might be handy and vanilla immortality. I'm not worried about at all, uh, but you know, we are going to do. Why did you all go down there? What? We got more bronze, <clears throat> more silver, some diamonds, no relics, some emeralds, and a common plus chest plate and a scrappy plus helmet. And these have grown back. What did we win? We got two health. Knockback resist, that's pretty good. Some crit resistance, that's pretty good. Four armor's decent, four armor's decent. Soul bound, not necessarily useful. But this is plus four health. <laughs> that's the most health I've had in any Vault Hunters yet. Didn't get a sword, didn't get uh, a pick or anything like that. I don't think you can get a pick anymore, actually, but I was kind of holding out for a sword. That's okay. But that's, that's astounding. And apparently that's how it's supposed to work. Now, I don't want to take too much advantage of that. I would rather, to be honest, I would rather get a proper vault, get the loot from inside a level one vault. Well, it's going to be, I'm going to be starting on a level three vault, right? If I get one now, which I can't, because I'm going to chromatic iron. So I'm going to have to level up a lot just on level zero vaults in order to be able to create a vault altar and some vault crystals. Still. I'm going to leave it there because I've got a stream to do. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing other stuff, but I haven't done it. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this foray into Sky Vaults. I've got some building to do, which I'll do in my spare time, in my off time. And then hopefully in the next episode, we can start doing some real vaults uh, and some farms and some things like that, actually playing the game rather than gathering materials. Although that, that's fun. I like doing that. Anyway, thank you for watching. And you can't see my nice face in my helmet, but you can rest assured that I am smiling and waving. I've been Altrius, this is Altrius Players, this is Manila, this is Vanilla, this is Vault Hunters, Sky Vault, and I'll see you next time. Bye!